Hello my lovely people. Today I want to share to you the three secrets how not to fumble in English communication. When it happens normally whenever you meet with the foreign delegates, clients, your boss, your peer group, your colleagues, you face this trouble. This is quite natural. Well, I want to tell you I was also the same in my past. I did it something Therefore, today I do not fumble a lot. In this video, I want to share that three secrets which actually I applied in my past. Let's get started this video. Number one point is all about that translations. Normally it happens whenever we talk about English, first we just translate native to English. Does it happen with you as well? Yes. So suppose that I want to share something. So first I think in Hindi or I think in my original language, then I share in English. Therefore, it happens that time long is there. And your brain also gets disturbed that to communicate properly. Therefore, I would say to you, do not, do not make it that. Do not translate your native to English. Make it yourself that you think in English. Well. Is it difficult? Don't worry. For this, you must watch my next video where I do share that how do you think in English? Well, if you think about it, Anita, if I qualified in this ground, then what is next? I want to tell you. Suppose that you qualify in this ground, then you have to make it the second step. Does it happen with you as well? That of course, you do not think in native language, but despite of it, you cannot give you a proper statement in front of your boss. You cannot review properly about any topic in English, as well as you do not give your opinion in front of many people. Does it happen? Yes. My dear friend, this is all about your psychology. You think about it that you are not good you have a self-doubt and of course that because of this reason the clarity does not happen therefore you make lots of fumble in front of your boss so what is important here important is here that you do not fumble in front of your boss make it yourself one more thing i want to tell you my dear friend that you are good in your technical things suppose that you are an accountant or you're an it person or you are doing any kind of the job you are in production so always remember you are good in your technical things but if you really think about it pre-assume yourself that my god I really can't speak in front of my boss because my English is poor. No, my dear. Most important thing is that deliver your speech with the confidence, whatever you know, how much you know, how much information you have. Try that to deliver the things. And then you can see that automatically you have a more confidence and you try to convey your message confidently without fumble. Number three point, fast speaking. Majority people, they do these things. They speak very fast. So what happens that they eat their language, they eat their voice. So because of this, that you cannot deliver your speech. No one can understand you. And then that if, if you really speak very fast, then you get fumbled a lot. So what to do? Pause and pan technique. Have you seen our Honorable Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Singh Modi? He speaks very nicely. He articulates himself very nicely. He always uses the pause and pan technique. So you have to use that pause and pan technique. It works. Honestly, I would say to you that you always speak very slowly. Don't go very fast. Don't go very rashly that you have to finish your dialogues or you have to finish your sentence make it yourself that i should go very slowly so that you cannot be fumble in your conversation that's it in this story i want to tell you that if you really apply this three secret of mind then you can also not be fumble in your conversation you have to do it and tell me in your comment that whether it works or not if you really like this video then subscribe, share and put the comment below so that I really feel motivated and I can make it as much as video 
for you till the time take care and be positive in your life take care goodbye